We are now going to look at how to find and replace text in a document. Imagine, if you will, that you've spent a long time typing up your document, as we have this document on the screen, and you've typed the word fox when really you meant rabbit. So rather than going through the document looking for every instance of the word fox and retyping it, because we might make a mistake, we can use find and replace. We're going to work with find first and for that we use edit and drop down to find. Notice the control and F keyboard shortcut. You could also use that key combination to bring up this dialog box. So I'm clicking on find and just before I do notice also there's, a, there's an icon next to it, the binoculars. Sometimes those binoculars can be on your icon bar and if it is on your icon bar, as it is here, then we can click on that button and it will bring up the same dialog box. Just going to... Right. So what we can do is we've brought up the Find and Replace dialog box and it's on the Find tab because that's what we've selected, Find. Find what? We're going to find the word Fox. So we type that into the box and then click on Find next and what that does is it starts from wherever your cursor insertion point was and finds the next occurrence of that word in the document so it's not finding the first it's finding the next occurrence then you can click on find next again and it jumps to the next one and you can just keep going through your document finding each occurrence of the word fox When you get to the end, it jumps back up to the top for you and continues working until it, until it knows that it's been through all the document once. What we can also do with Find is highlight all the items found in the document. If we do that, then instead of Find Next, we've got Find All. Clicking on that button highlights every occurrence of the word Find in your document. Find by itself is not particularly useful. Combining it with find and replace is. So I'm just going to cancel this. And instead of doing edit find, we're going to do edit replace. Notice the, con the control and H keyboard shortcut. Okay, so we've got the find and replace dialog box here. Notice, it's the same dialog box. It's the same one that we've just been working with. I've just switched tabs. We were working with find. We're now working with replace. Okay, it's already picked up because we've used find, that word fox. We can keep that word or we can just type over the top of it. But I want to find the word fox and replace it with rabbit. So what we can then do is again click on find next and it jumps to the next occurrence of the word fox. Then we've got an option to replace that word. If I click on replace, it will replace the word fox with rabbit and then immediately find the next occurrence of the word fox. Let's try it. Click replace. It replaced that word there, the rabbit. And it's jumped to find the next fox. I'll replace that one. And again, it's replaced the word fox with rabbit and jumped to the next occurrence. If we are confident, and before I say that, what we can then do is if that particular instance of the word fox we don't want to change, we don't have to click replace, we can go straight to find next. And it leaves that one and then jumps to the next one. So as we go through the document, we can replace or find the next occurrence. What we can do, if we're reasonably confident that we want to replace every occurrence, we can click replace all. And that will go through the document and replace every occurrence of the word fox with rabbit. In this instance, 23. Click on OK. If we close that down, we should be able to see that there is no longer fox there 
they are all rabbits. That edit, replace, tell it what we want to find and what we want to replace it with. And then make a choice whether to replace, ignore, or replace all of those occurrences. But be careful. Let me show you something. Instead of doing find replace, I'm just going to do find. I want to find the word the, and I want to highlight all the words the in the document. Then click find all. And you see it's highlighted every single word the in the document from beginning to end. But look at this bottom one. It hasn't found the word the, it's found the word there. If I did a find replace, it would replace those three letters of the word there, which obviously would not be what we want to do. So you do have to be careful. What I usually do, and again, this isn't strictly in the syllabus, but we'll show you this anyway. If I click the More button, and from these options, choose Find Whole Words Only, then it will only find the whole word there. Let's highlight them again and click on Find All. And this time, if I close that down, it hasn't found the word there. So that's Find and Replace. You can use the toolbar icon or you can do Edit and choose either Find or Replace because it's the same dialog box. It's just that your starting point is different. Find what, type the word in. If you want to use replace, type the word in, choose what to replace it with, and then either find and replace individual words or replace all. Close the dialog box, and all the word dog has now been replaced with cat. Find and replace.